Hey guys, Ryan here from thecoolerbox.com and this is an ice test for the Pelican 35, which is a 35 quart cooler. I have filled this cooler to capacity with ice that I purchased today, as well as a six pack of my favorite beer. And so we're going to see how long this cooler will keep ice for. We're going to be opening it five times a day to simulate real world use. And I'll be checking in daily to show you how long this keeps ice for. And we'll see whether or not it can really hold ice for five or seven days. We can see again, ice has only gone down very slightly from the top, holding ice extremely well. If we have a look at the inside of the Pelican, then we can see that after two days, there has been hardly any ice drop down. Uh, that is doing very, very well. Day three of the Pelican after I broke up its ice. And if we go ahead and have a look, might need to take some of these beers out so you can see but this is holding up really well. Probably lost about half of its ice. Uh, we can dig down and get to some of the water, but it is quite far down there. So still loads of ice in there, probably at least half full with ice at the moment. So that's going really well. Here we are with the Pelican at day four, exactly four days after we opened it. And if we go ahead and look at that, then we can see that the water has just reached the top in some areas, uh, but not all over, but definitely still holding ice really, really well. Here we are with the Pelican on day five. And if we go ahead and open this, it's been five days almost exactly and we can see that there is a lot of water in there now. If I put my hand in, oh, it's cold. There is ice all the way down to the bottom. Not quite enough surface tension to hold those beers on the top, but they are staying on a little bit. So doing really well, this Pelican. I would say another two to three days from that one. Six days ago, we loaded up our Pelican 35 full of ice. And if we go ahead and have a look after six full days, we can still see that there's a good amount of ice in there. In fact, the ice goes all the way down to the bottom. That is freezing cold water and that's holding ice really well. Here we are on day seven with the Pelican Pro Gear Elite. It's been a full week since we filled this up. And as you can see, there is still a good amount of ice in there. There's ice almost all the way down to the bottom, maybe a bit more than halfway down there. And that is really cold on my hands. So a lot of ice in there. I can see this lasting at least until the 10 day mark. So good work, Pelican. and if we go ahead and open it up, we can see there is still a decent amount of ice in there. If I move it across, you can see there are patches where it is just water, but the ice mostly still covers the top. So I can definitely see this lasting to 10 days. We're gonna see how far this one can go. Here we are on day nine with our Pelican Pro Gear Elite 35. And if we go ahead, we can see that there's still quite a bit of ice in there. It is thinning out, but there's more ice in there than the Yeti. Uh, that's doing really well on day nine. We'll see this making 10 days easy peasy, which is twice as long as a regular cooler. So well done Pelican on that one. Here we are on day 10 with the Pelican Pro Gear Elite 35 quart cooler. If we go ahead and open this up now, it has been 10 days since we put ice in this thing. And if we go ahead and have a look, we will see that there is still ice in here. Granted, there's not a lot of ice, but that water is extremely cold on my hands. There's a little bit of ice in there. I can see this going maybe another half a day. I'd be very surprised if this could make it to 11 days, uh, but we'll continue checking in, see how we go.
Here we are on day 11 with our Pelican Pro Gear Elite, and I can tell you right now that this has completely run out of ice. I did check this cooler at 10.30 last night, which means it was 10 days and six hours, and it still had a little bit of ice in it, enough to last it, maybe another hour or so. And the water in here is still really cold to touch. Let's go ahead and see how cool this water actually is. We can see that it's around 38 degrees Fahrenheit or three and a half degrees Celsius. So very cold water. These beers would be really nice to drink, but it is completely out of ice. This would keep the beers cold for another day or so, uh, but we're going to end the ice test there for the Pelican. It lasted 10 days and six hours. So that completes my ice test challenge for the Pelican Pro Gear Elite 35 quart cooler. This cooler performed really well in the ice test challenge, keeping ice for over 10 days and ran out of ice at about the 10 days plus eight hour mark. So it did really well, kept the beers cold for an extremely long period of time. And overall, I'm really happy with how well this cooler has done. I like how beefy this cooler is. I love the latches, the push and pull latches on here. My kids love these as well because they find it so easy to open. Whereas something like the Yeti, they find it hard to pull down and to open it. So they love this cooler. They think this is, this is their favorite one. It's really well built. And I really like some of the features on this, like the pull up handles and things like that. So that completes the ice test challenge. As you can see, it's done really well. If you are interested in buying a Pelican, then look, you can't go wrong. It is a great cooler keeps eyes for ages and it is built like a tank. So if you are interested in this, I will leave a link to purchase it from Amazon in the description below. That's my affiliate link. So if you go through that, I absolutely appreciate it. I will be repeating this test in a couple of months when it's summer here in Australia and temperatures are over 90 degrees every day. And we'll be putting it out in the sun and see how it performs in those temperatures. But yeah, it's done really well. It's a great cooler. And if you're interested in purchasing one, Links are in the description below. You can't go wrong. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, stay cool.